Uh, Canada is more welcoming to immigrants uh, than it has been for decades. In 2016, we admitted 320,000 new permanent residents to Canada, people to settle in Canada, which was the largest number that we've admitted since 1970. Applicants from the uh, People's Republic of China and, and, and from Hong Kong um, have, uh, are, are being successful in being admitted as, as uh, skilled workers uh, under various uh, programs that we have. Hong Kong has had an eventful year, but Hong Kong has had many eventful years in its, in its history. Um, the resentencing um, of, uh, of the three student leaders, uh, Canada did make a statement uh, expressing our concern um, about the, the potential impact that that development would have on the climate for uh, political expression in Hong Kong in the future. This development um, should not, uh, we hope, will not um, discourage people from being prepared to, to exercise their rights to peaceful uh, expression of opinion, peaceful demonstration in, in Hong Kong in the future. Canada has a lot of confidence in, in Hong Kong and in the One Country, Two Systems framework. Hong Kong has continued to, to prosper in spite of many external challenges, the SARS episode, the Asian financial crisis, the global financial crisis. Businesses from around the world continue to regard Hong Kong as a very highest quality jurisdiction when it comes to the legal system, uh, judicial independence, uh, um, uh, lack of, of corruption. Um, and other indicators of, of good governance. So that's where the confidence comes from. Uh, freedom from discrimination on the basis of your sexual orientation or your gender identity, um, that this is a fundamental human right. So we encourage this in, in Hong Kong as we do elsewhere in the world.